president. And it's been nine days since Russia invaded Ukraine. Now Jacksonville city leaders are looking to officially support the country. On your side's Haley Harrison spoke with a former Ukrainian diplomat about what she hopes will come out of this local resolution. Just days after finishing her term as a press secretary for the Ukrainian embassy in Washington, D.C., Natalia Solyova was watching TV inside her Jacksonville home when the first bombs hit Ukrainian cities. Uh, this is civilians. She says although no one expected a full invasion, Russia had already begun surrounding Ukraine. Russia used this excuse of uh, so-called military exercises to bring its troops to our borders. Solieva says international action like sanctions and military assistance is critical, but continuing to spread awareness of the conflict is just as important. This week, a group of Ukrainian Americans worked with Councilmember Al Ferrero to file a resolution calling on the Jacksonville City Council to support the people of Ukraine and stand in solidarity with local Ukrainians. So we are starting here with our local authorities and it's going to be a big help to to um, draw more attention to this issue that we need help. Her husband, Bert Watson, is the president of a local government relations firm. He believes the state can also take action, saying the Florida Pension Fund has tens of millions of dollars invested in Russian companies. I'd like to suggest that they should divest those funds, uh, get rid of those investments, and perhaps consider doing something longer term to help Ukraine. I'm Haley Harrison, First Coast News, on your side. The UK re Ukraine resolution is set to be put up for an emergency vote during Tuesday night's city council meeting.